Back in 1984, when President Reagan first designated July as National Ice Cream Month, he was probably thinking about Dutch chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. But today's ice cream makers are turning towards flavors like garlic or salt and pepper. Early show contributor Taryn Winterbrill is here with what else they're also churning out. Good to see you here this morning. I can't believe these flavors. I mean, salt, pepper, come on. Wait till you taste them. They're incredible. Good morning to you, Chris. Well, with the scorching temperatures outside, your favorite ice cream probably hits the spot right about now. But how about a scoop of spicy chocolate habanero or sweet corn ice cream? Exotic and inventive flavors just like these are popping up in ice cream shops all across the country. When the dog days of summer send temperatures soaring, millions of Americans seek sweet relief with a cooling cup or cone of their favorite frozen treat. Yeah, a small cup of mocha chunk. The ice cream business is a booming $21 billion a year industry, churning out nearly five gallons annually for every man, woman, and child. In flavors set to satisfy the pickiest of palates. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? I like good old chocolate. I always like chocolate no matter where I go or what place. Yeah, chocolate. Vanilla. But after decades of vanilla and chocolate domination, some are asking, how about a cold scoop of? I like the bourbon vanilla. Ice cream creators from coast to coast are dishing out offbeat flavors and customers are scooping them up, like at Humphrey Slocum in San Francisco. I think the, the big joke is, oh wow, that's actually really good. Sometimes they're really, really reluctant that some of these combinations like red wine and Coca-Cola in our Jesus Juice Sorbet, that that could actually be good. The people who are making ice cream today are actually thinking about it as if it was as important as, you know, a French chef making lobster thermidor. So they think about it as a culinary enterprise. At the Bent Spoon in Princeton, New Jersey, the 18 daily flavors are anything but ordinary. People enjoy having classic stuff, but at the same time, they like a little challenge to their palate. It's New Jersey's bounty right here. By so using fresh ingredients from local farms, co-owner Gabrielle Carbone lets Mother Nature choose the menu. This is six different kinds of basils. One's a uh, lemon basil, so if you smell this, here, this one, it actually smells like lemon. Wow, and that seems to be everyone's reaction. Wow, that's really good. Blueberry, the lavender, and... Uh, Purple basil pers blueberry. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Quite a combination. Yeah, it was way out of my comfort zone, but <laughs> it tastes quite good. I'm telling you, these are mad culinary geniuses who've tackled ice cream as their project. From the soda fountain to the funky flavors of today, one thing is certain, there's no overstating how far ice cream has come. We are so lucky to be living in this time. Mm -hmm. Now we're in like an ice cream renaissance. Can I have a small mango and blood orange? When everything is so homogenous sometimes when you're going to visit places, that unique spin is what makes life interesting and certainly makes eating interesting. And even the smallest ice cream lovers can figure that out. What are her favorite flavors so far? She picked out the blueberry and the bourbon vanilla. <laughs> she picked yeah. out the bourbon vanilla? She did, she loves it. <laughs> She certainly did, couldn't get enough. Incidentally, the Bent Spoon has created over 500 different flavors. They change daily and they make everything fresh on the premises. When we visited, they were making cucumber tomato basil ice cream, which is incredible. I tried it myself. Another one of their most exotic flavors, you guys, get this oyster ice cream. That sounds uh. <laughs> I'm not into it, but I am into some of these flavors you brought yes, along so today to dig try. Dig in, we brought going, five. Going right into the Jersey so sweet corn. I'm going Jersey for the bourbon. Corn. You're going in for the <laughs> bourbon vanilla sea salt caramel. I mm. want to get that right. What do you that think? is good. Isn't it is. Awesome? It kind of does have a heavy liquor flavor to it, though. Yeah, it depends which. which I'm going to try the corn. Which means she loves it. <laughs> yeah, which means she's going in <laughs> for more. I'm trying the corn. What do you think of the corn, the Jersey, Jersey boy, Chris? It's fantastic. To be Isn't it great? Representing mm. my state beautifully. Some it actually, buttery. It has chunks of corn in it. It does. So it's not just corn flavor. And we Real shucked corn. the corn together. What it was we have amazing. Here? What is this one? This is blueberry purple basil sorbet. It's a mm. mouthful. That was actually my favorite. It's actually purple basil. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. You know, it's right. That is refreshing. Lavender mascarpone. Go out and get yourself some salt and pepper ice cream today. <laughs> You're going to need it.